Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to turn your Roblox GFX from this into this with shading. And I'm super excited for this video, so if you are too, please be sure to leave a like. But anyways, we will just be getting right into the tutorial. So the first thing you are going to need is a Roblox render with a background on it ready to be edited. And if you do not know how to make a Roblox GFX, you can check out my Roblox GFX tutorial in Blender 2.8. I'll have it linked in the info card in the top right corner. It is so easy, so definitely be sure to check it out so you can make your own GFX. But in this video, I will be showing you guys how to shade your Roblox GFX. So I'm going to be doing this tutorial in Paint.net, but you can pretty much use any art program. It's any art program where you can draw and blend things out. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a render and a background from an order that I did a little while ago. But anyways, we will just be getting started with the tutorial. So on the right hand side of paint.net or whatever art program that you are using, you want to find the layers box and add a new layer. So here is our normal layer and we are just going to add a new layer on top of that. And this is the one we are going to be doing our darkness shading on. So you're going to select the paintbrush on the left hand side and go down to colors and we are going to open it up and select a color that would probably be good for your GFX for shading. Now it kind of depends on what GFX you have for what color you want the shading to be. So obviously if it's like a blue themed GFX, you probably want a blue or a pink. Or if it's a light and sunny GFX, you probably want a pink, like a light pink or an orange. So it just depends on the GFX and what kind of color you think you would like and what would go with it. For this one, I am going to be selecting maybe like a light reddish pink and then you need to expand the colors box right here so it's more and right here at the bottom you want to turn it down so it is a dark color so it is not completely black but it is just a really 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 dark pink just like that and then make it less and you can move it back so now we are just going to be adding the shading where we think it should go on the gfx so at the top where it says brush with, you just want to select a brush with and test it out. So that seems like it'd be a little too small. Again, it depends on your GFX and what size it is. So just get it so it's about a normal size, a little bit big, just like that. And then we are going to be turning down the hardness of the brush. I turn it down to about one or 0%, so we'll stick with zero. And now you are just going to shade your GFX wherever you think it needs shading. So we can kind of go off the shadows that are already here. So let's see, sometimes I shade around the hair just like this and you just want to draw in some lines. So just add in lines where you think there would be shadows. Don't overdo it, you know, and color it in like this. You just want it to be nice thin lines so it doesn't overdo it at all. I also advise you don't shade the hands very much. In my experience, shading the hands has not gone very well and usually I have to erase it. So I would advise not doing that. And we will be shading the Roblox character and the background and like the other things in a different layer. So just shade like some of the objects. So like I'll shade the cats, but like the background and stuff, we'll save that to the end. So after you're done with how many shadows you think you want, you're going to go up to effects in the top, blurs, and select this blur. I really don't know what it's called, um, but it's the one that starts with the G. I, I, I'm really not sure, I'm sorry. But you're just gonna select this one right here and turn it up so it's sort of blended out. I mean, you don't want it super blended out like this, but just so it's a little bit like a shadow. Again, it's still gonna look kind of weird until we change the layer property. So like, let's do that. Then on the right, you're going to double click your layer and go to blend mode and select overlay. And as you can see, it added shadows to your GFX. So to see the difference, you can uncheck the layer on the right and then recheck it. And then you can kind of just make adjustments as you want. So if you think they're too strong, you can blur them out a little bit more. So like, I think I'll blur this out just a little bit more. There we go. And if you want to change the color of it, you can go to adjustments, hue and saturation, go here and just change the hue. So as you can see, you can change like, here's what it would look like if the coloring was green 
or here's what it'd look like if it's blue, purple. You know, you can just change it to whatever you like. So I think maybe we'll go with just a little bit of an orangish color. Click OK, and when you are happy with your shading, we can move on to the next layer. And if you are not happy with that one and how it turned out, you can just delete the layer at the bottom and start over and do it over again until you like how it looks. But I usually find that with shading, that less is more. So you don't want to color it like so much that it just looks overdone. Just add a little bit of light shading, but again, it's however you like your style to be. So now we are going to be doing the highlights on the character and the main objects. So we are going to add a new layer and go over to our color box again. We don't have to change anything with the brush and select more. And now you want to get a light color that you think would go. So since she is shopping, usually shopping places have like really bright lights. So I think we're going to be going with a bright yellow orangish color but again it is up to you with whatever color you want to go with you could even make it like dark purple if you wanted to I mean whatever you choose but once you get your color you can just hit less move that back down and then color in where you think the highlights would be which is pretty much opposite of the shadows so we are just going to color in up here and just some areas where there are some highlights on the render there's already some like shading so you can kind of tell where things go and just color it in. So once you're done adding your highlights, now you can blur it out. So we're gonna go to effects, blurs, this blur right here, and just blur it out until you think it looks good. So I think that's good, so we'll hit okay, and then double click your layer again, overlay, and as you can see, it adds some highlights. But I think I want it blurred out a little bit more because I think that's a little bit too strong. So just blur it out however much you like it. Again, if you wanna change the color of it, you can go to adjustments, hue and saturation and change the hue to whatever you like. You can even change the saturation and make it brighter if you want to. Again, whatever your style is. I mean, there's no rules in making art, so you can make it however you like and make something completely unique. But now we are going to be moving on to shading the background. So pretty much it is just the same thing except we're doing the background instead of the character. I like to do these on different layers so it's easier to control, but now we are going to add a new layer and get another dark color. So for the background, I think we'll go with like a dark blue, purple maybe. Um, this is just the exact same strategy we were using before, but with the background. I'm going to turn up the brush size a little bit, but it, again, it is completely up to you and what your background is like and you are just going to color in anywhere you think needs shading. Like I said before, the render should kind of show you where you need to add the shading, like where it's darker. So we'll just add some maybe down here, down in the corner. Um, all right, that looks good. Maybe we'll add a little bit more right here. And then we will just blur it out again with the same blur until it looks good, just like this. So I think like maybe that looks good. Double click the layer and select overlay. And as you can see, it adds some shading. So now we are going to add a highlights layer for the background. So again, just pick a color that is a light color and you are just going to color it in on a new layer wherever you think needs some highlights. So this is pretty much just the same strategy over and over. You can shade it as little or as much as you like. It is really up to you. It is your artwork. So do whatever you like best. Just gonna blur it out a little bit layer and select overlay and there we go and finally i will show you guys a little bit of shading that i like to do on the whole picture so we are going to add another new layer and this would be kind of like a finishing touch if you like it we are going to go to the color box and in the bottom left we are going to select black like pure black we are going to get a big brush size probably about maybe 600 all right so just get it so it's about this size relative to your gfx again it kind of depends on the size of your gfx but we are just going to color in like the bottom corners up the sides a little bit with this black and you kind of you don't want to color like directly on it like this but you kind of want to stay off the edge a little bit just like this to give it kind of a black edge and then we are going to blur it out just a little bit with the same blur Again, blur it how much you think looks good, like maybe that. And then we're going to turn this on overlay. And as you can see, it adds a little bit of shading at the bottom. Um, this looks good on some GFX and doesn't look good on others. It's just kind of trial and error. And sometimes you can even turn down the opacity so it looks a little bit better. So kind of just add some shadow at the bottom. Here's it without and here it is with. It adds a little bit of depth. 
So again, with the GFX, like with all the other layers, we're also going to be adding some highlights. So get like a pretty good color. You don't want it to be super light like this because that'll overpower your GFX, but get like sort of a solid color like this, where it's kind of, it's not as light, it's kind of a little bit darker. We're just going to select that, select it whatever color you'd like the lighting to be, and add it in one of the top corners. I even like to mix up different colors to give it sort of a different look, so let's see. We use a little bit of green, a little bit of orangish yellow, and a little bit of pink, and we will just blur this out. And this one you want to blur out a lot because you don't want the lighting to be too bright, so I'm going to blur this out a couple times. Again, it is really personal preference, but whatever you like to do. Now we're going to go in the layers box again and select overlay. And as you can see, it adds a little bit of light. Sometimes you can use the select tool on the left to kind of stretch it out and move it around and get to where you like it. And that is pretty much how I shade all my Roblox GFX. So let's see, I'll uncheck all these layers so you can see how it looks normally like we did at the beginning of the video. So this is what it looked like at the beginning of the video. And this is what it looks like after we're done with the shading. Obviously, it makes a big difference. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out so you could kind of make your GFX more colorful if you'd like to, add some shading. This tutorial was requested. So I really hope you guys like it and it helps you guys out. If you have any questions, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I would love to help you guys out. Like I said, you can do this tutorial on pretty much any art program. I know some people maybe on Macs, I believe, aren't able to use Paint.net without paying. But if you are on Windows, it is a free program, so just look around for whatever art program you would like to use. I believe also that Pixar, I think it's called, is a good art program for GFX, so definitely be sure to look into that. But if this tutorial helped you, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads or tutorials from my channel. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope this helped you guys out, and I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.